I think change can separate into two parts, and but change is something that against our human nature, which is controlling everything, um, especially in life or in your personal life, in work, in company, in your spouse, in your family, because um, people just tend to control in charge of everything. It's a sense of safety and it's a sense of peacefulness. So. Um, when we come to change, we are talking about things that are uncertainty that is different with the pattern that we used to have. So it gives us an uncomfortable um, feeling because it is stepping out of our comfort zones of our, of our daily routine, of the things that we are in control of. So I think change is something that against our human nature. And change can be separated in two parts. The first part is the physical change that we can change some sculpture, no, some posture, some action, or some some physical, tangible habit. Like, when do you go to sleep? When, when do you wake up? These things are easily changed by your action. Like, doing it after and after, repeat and repeat again. Through a period of time, you can change you can create your own sleeping schedule. Um, even though you don't have an alarm with you, it's still not a problem because your brain just have the muscle memory to remember when to wake you up. And another thing is, um, for example, when we do a lot of sport or exercise or, or martial arts, we are repeating and repeating the same posture, repeating the same, same action is because it's practicing our muscle to have a memory about when something that happened, then what should our brain, uh, what should our muscle trigger to do to react on that moment is something that um, related to muscle memory and it's about physical change, which is easier than the other part. The other part is like a mental value um, value change. It's like a false thing, it's a mindset thing. And that is very much difficult and because everyone uh, mindset value is based on their culture, tradition, education, family, society, society status, um things like that. So it's very hard to create that, but I, st I still believe that it's possible to change human mindset. It's possible to change human action and things. Because taking the example of Hitler, um, the, one of the reasons why I would say Hitler is a very charming person is because he knows how, about, how to change people. Um, killing Jews are not the things that um, start in a moment. It's a thing for a years, like 100 years things. Um, somebody who is a cousin of um, Dem Demo? Demon, the guy who traveled around the world and said that the earth is to be from expose, um, uh, exposure and then come become a birth. Anyway, so that person said that um, we can using like citation of genetics to to make a better human future because we are citing some bad genetics and these things, um, the ideas are spreading around Europe and especially in German and it, then it end up become some type of tools by, by Hitler or the governments to, to killing the, the Jews because they think that they are the unhealthy, the, the evil blood. So for Deutsch people at that time, it's a right thing to kill people. It's not, it's even not for their own good, it's for their children's good. It's so that the, the society is no longer having that, um, not having those bad blood, bad um, genetics, so that the society can, be, can become a better place. They're thinking about that, so that's why all the all the psychology tests showing that the German is so normal that time, even though they are killing a lot of people. So I believe that through times we can actually really change a people or society.